This place is actually familiar. Isn't it looks like a cemetery or something? Yeah. Wait, isn't there something protecting this place of power? Place of power. I could have sworn there's a creature it. here though. Really? It's just letting me Oh shit. Danger. The number to the left of an enemy's health bar shows its level. If it is red or marked with a skull, it means the enemy is much stronger than you. In such cases, it's better to turn back on yourself suitably and get a few levels before engaging this enemy in combat. Shit, it's level seven. Peace out, bro. You can you can you can have the cemetery all to yourself. I I want no part in this. Okay! So we're gonna have to come back here at some point in time. Good to know. I don't think I can get to that because it looks like it's directly behind the cemetery. Okay, well, we're gonna have to come back for that one later. You know how I said I was just going to do the uh, question marks around the top of the map? Well, I kind of ended up doing all the question marks on the map. <laughs> Oops! I still can't do this one because it's got the level 7 rate there. I mean, I wonder if it's possible to do it at level 2, even though it's 5 levels above me. If you just treat it carefully, maybe it's possible. Maybe not as well. I don't know. Maybe once I finish taking on this griffin, I might have a go at that. Uh, this is just saying, oh, sorry, that's connected. This is a building behind where the wraith is, so I can't really do that. This here is like a monster nest. And you need to destroy the monster nest with grape shot or dancing star bombs, of which I have neither. So I couldn't get rid of the two of those things on my map. I should make that three. But the good news is I got one, two, three, four places of power which means I got extra ability points and then that'll be a fifth one once I get that. So we're just going to quickly deal with those because I haven't actually done anything with them. So it looks like if we just go back across, I've only got one empty slot. Slot unlocked at level four. Okay, it unlocks every two levels. I think I remember that. So I either have to pick another skill and then just sink all my ability points into those particular skills, which is fine because, you know, and it's fast attack. That makes sense. And then I'll pick something with Igni. And then that way I'm using two abilities with a little extra strength. So what have we got? Melt armor. Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect scales with sign intensity up to a maximum of 15%. Permanently weakens. Yeah man, why not? Why not? I will take that and then I will plop it there. And then we've got four left. I'll give two, two upgrades to those, I believe. Um, ooh, additional points in branch needed to unlock five. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, so I will have to sort of invest points in there. So one, two, and then I'll do the fast combat. So it'll increase by 10% and then adrenaline point gains plus 2% and then I'm assuming it's 15. Yep, yeah, plus 3. There we go. So I have a bit of fast attack damage increase, adrenaline point gain, and then also melting armor apparently, which is which is great. To a maximum of 45%. Shit, that's a lot. Cool. So that is that. So we are here at the, uh, who are you? The healer. The healer's hut. To... I'll just steal her stuff. Let's jump. That's that's a very large jump, Geralt. I didn't need quite that magnificence. And we're just going to loot all her garden before we go in and chat to her. So we need to ask the herbalist about Buckthorn. Hi, lady. Do you know anything about Buckthorn? Cutscene. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tick. It's the beggar tick. Red bloom. Well, well. One versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Well, that sounds kind Which of is nice. All I can hope to do for her. Or maybe not that nice. Griffin do that? Griffin do that to her. Delina. Yes. Oh, great. Her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Yeah, that doesn't seem very smart. Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish oh, things well, for Oh, well, you love. know, you did a stupid thing, you you got Wounds are healing just she will die. desserts. That's a terrible That's way of phrasing it, but still. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Oh, poor girl. I could try to help her. I'll kill the griffin, no more victims after that. I mean, can I help her? Could try to help her with one of my potions. 
Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But... Witcher's potions aren't for humans. Oh. She'll die as it is. That makes yes. sense. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will I mean, you can just lop off her head if that's the case. That'll silence her. I understand. Listen to me, Immortal Heart. Do as you will. But it would be a swift death for her if that were the case. Sure. Looking for Buckthorn. We'll do that. Know if it grows anywhere around here. Hmm. Bottom of the river. Oh, of course, the, the channel's bottom of the river. But you do know that once out of the water. It'll stink worse than a week old carcass. Counting on it. Ew. I'm hunting the griffin. I knew it had to be Need potent, but that just sounds awful. I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar something something. Ah, oh, leave the black lady with Okay, well I knew it. I forget how to pronounce his name. Never mind. Uh, good at looking after our welfare. Actually, yeah, Captain Peter does seem to care. Doubt it's Emperor odd. Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men less. in the army. There are only orders. Well, damn, that's a harsh and not from here, are jaded you? viewpoint. A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. Well, it's as far less grim. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. They're waiting for the, the griffin to kill Maybe somebody else. Time. There won't be next time, honey. Don't even think about that. So, uh, find some buckthorn on the riverbed using your witcher senses. Oh, new quest on death's bed. Brew a dose of a swallow potion. Okay, alchemy. Yeah, it's just like crafting. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Armor and and weapons and stuff. Potion. So like, hey, oh hey, look at that! Because I've been so diligent in my collecting, I can craft it straight away. Well, that's easy. Okay, that's nice. Are we done? Take the potion to the herbalist. Hi, Tamira. Yes. I have the potion for Lena. Got a potion for Lena. Lena, whatever. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Like I said, we can just lop off her head. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Oh, wow. That's a very long time. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. Which is which is what I thought as I well. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Aw, thanks. I get rewarded for being a nice human being. Oh, and we never find out what the, the outcome is, whether she suffers for days on end. Oh, okay. Sure. Let's go find some buckthorn. How far away are we going? Uh, it's not that far. It's just across the way. And through the bushes. Let's just run it. I'm sure Roach could stretch her legs a little bit, but you know, whatever. I like collecting shit along the way. Because as you can see, that just came in a lot of usefulness with that last quest. So I'm going to continue to collect crap. Ooh, a blood and sweat. Is that a book? Where did I pick this up from? A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living, and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead, or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. I picked this up from the healer? Or was this the gift she gave me? Interesting. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet, unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often these emotions gain the power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual, while he or she still knew life. The objects are frequently, most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. Oh, that would completely make sense. What else have I got here? Uh, oh, that was to do with one of the um, question mark things. Let's keep going. Oh, Gerald. Nightwraith decoction. Oh, okay. So she gave that to me. That's nice. Oh, there's another quest here. 
Oh, oh loot. Uh, loot, 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 that. Hi. What's the time? You're, you're standing out here at like one o'clock in the morning. What is wrong Lost with you? Key, man. Even the rain, I might point no, out. No, not me key. Me pan. <laughs> you what? <laughs> it's always sat there empty. This hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle, a man arrived. Walk right in like to his own. Standing in the window, peering at the goings on. Cause next I so knew, dramatic, there great. he was, coming my way. So I grabbed me pan for protection. <laughs> what Rapunzel style? He just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Like <laughs> Look at Garrett just backs up, coals? and she Nay, follows. Says I. And again. You must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. She's not wrong. It really was an ill time of day. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. <laughs> Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled. Right, baffled. Doing, drying in the dark. <laughs> but I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. You gave him your pan. Truly a fascinating tale, laden with sarcasm. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse. Oh. And that were all I saw of him. So could, the pan. second fellow can still Twirled, be inside the house. Black with salt, not worth much Doesn't bode well. But I've no other. You only have one pan? Well, Why? Dearie. Bring an old widow oh or god, pan. now she's playing on the heartstrings. I never break down that door, Miss Just shimmy through the window, you'll be right. Truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a yep. stench. The other dude must be dead in there. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. It's unfortunate. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll help her get her never pan. Never taken on a pan contract. <laughs> Fine. I'll I dare go say in, you haven't. Look around. You should wait here, just in case. Oh gosh. A frying pan, stick and span. A break into the locked hut. Um, ooh, I can make short work of this. Oops, I totally just whacked the lady. My bad. I'm a little directionally challenged, what can I say? Okay, what can we loot here? Some running flesh. Perfect, great start. Sounds delightful. Ooh, some hunting trousers. Probably worse than... What I've currently got. A corpse. Hey! Explains hi, corpse. corpse. Yeah, it, it does indeed. What is that on the floor? I would like to obtain what that. Cracked monocle. Silver monocle. Interesting. How is that What's interesting? That, nothing, nothing. There's a dead carcass in here. <laughs> How'd he die? Can I. Is that, no, no. Oh, mm, Send the body. His throat. He was garroted. Oh! And some old scars. That sounds like it was fun. A soldier might have. But okay. when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Well, don't gab to yourself, you twit. Hey, it's uh, the pan. The priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Pan. <laughs> Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink, write letters. That's a lot of ink. A lot of ink. Found the pan, have you? I have. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Burned papers, and when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did, risking my life in the entire blasted operation, and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, wait for nothing. I thought the Guardian army was better organized than that, but you, illegible. Tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone, this tits up. This time I'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Okay. The pan, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get your knickers in or not. I'm coming. Very slowly. What? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are perfect. <laughs> Pray for it was the best. The soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. No kidding. Urgently burned some other documents too. Well, she didn't need to know the last part. And and the other fellow. Oh, he's totes Dead. in there. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. Ew. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. 
Hang about. You've earned a token of thanks. Here's for the she better not be giving me food, I swear to God. I barely use it as it is. Oh, she did. I got apples and, and apple juice or something. What did it say on the side? It went so quickly. Ah, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna tell me. Where are we going? We're going this way, hey? Baked apples. Oh, chest. I see it. I see it. It's not what we're here for. But it's what I'm gonna go to. We actually just need the, the buckthorn, but you know, since it's there and all, we may as well make the most of it. Go! Go! You go get that chest. It not be locked. That'd be so depressing. Ooh! Broadhead bolt. How much buckthorn do I need, by the way? Oh, apparently just one lot of buckthorn. Okay. That was easy. Let's go check out this hunter then. Where was the hunter at? He wasn't too far away, was he? Oh yeah, she's just across the way. We can totally go visit him. Just get out of this silly water. God, it must be so cold with the rain as well. Ugh. I'm probably just saying that because I'm really cold right now. <laughs> go, girl. Really, let's get out of the water. Let's go find us a hunter. Ballis fruit. Ballis, ballis. Hmm. Pronunciation. Still a problem. It's so much more viable just running through the woods to pick up all of these things. Oh, we're at Ms. Love's hut already. Ms. Love. Oh, gosh. Nice pal. Do, do we knock or we just barge on in? We knock. Anyone Hot home? The light. Oh, locked. Must be out hunting. Okay. Uh, use your senses to find the hunter. Oh gosh, that was quick. Trails fresh. Ms. Love just left home. At 2.30 in the morning, in the rain? Is this guy on crack? Who does such a thing? Especially a hunter, like... Ah, oh, must be so uncomfortable. Gosh, he's all over the place. Where are you, Ms. Love? Oh, there he is. Hi, Ms. Love. What's up? You, Ms. Love. Nice Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Um, how? What? Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. No, why? No, I'm waiting for you to tell no, me. No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just it's like humans. Still Deadly. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. I, uh, that monster slayer they's talking about. Do you about guys not understand from my mm. cat eyes? Like they're pretty bloody distinctive. Oh, sure, right. sure. But uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. What a nice we man. Help. He's not even getting paid to that do that. Is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on him. Eh, a few swipes. No damage done. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. I mean, it no. could totally kill other people Dogs in the meantime. So step careful now. Come on. Okay. These dogs have been a dogs. problem for a while now. Since the war started. Where are we going, Miss Love? On the march. We'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. A dog. Kick in passing, no more. So oh, these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts too late. Attacked another one. Oh shit! Oh, almost killed the wild duck in one, one go. Yeah, whatever. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Mr. Carcass. Why, why did it not pick up from that? No, it doesn't matter, we'll do it manually. Ooh, he's right. He did kill somebody. Ooh, he's um, missing some of his leg. Wait, no, t at least it's still attached. Hello, Miss Love, can we, can we chat? Ooh, he's also shelter as well. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. That would have been a nice position. But that was before. 
Well, a long time ago. Uh huh. Enough guardian. Ooh, we can pry. Before what? Before what? Before they drove me from the village. Why? What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Huh? Sorry. We'd rather not talk about it. You're a freak? I'm a freak too. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. What kind of freak if are you? If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. And that made you of... what? Dieter walked in on us in the stables. What a backwards view of things. They drove me away. Florian hanged oh, himself. Oh no. Lord started drinking. Oh, and was the, the Lord's fault in the first room. place. The absolute dick. That's the long and short of it. That's so sad. Oh. Oh man. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. Doesn't make the pain go away. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Oh, oh man. But come. So he bends down after Griffin, he says, "Come." Know anything about it? No, Yo, much. where are we going? Not my kind of game. Jesus, make up your mind. Which way are we going? Though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy you. Ha! Wow, the arrogance on this one. Sorry, Miss Love. I'm just a little slow at the moment. There we go. Greetings. To who? Good idea. Good idea. Oh, yeah. Blood, blood here. here. One lay there by the stump, headless. Ooh, impressive. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down. Ooh, to... that's gonna be quite a spectacle. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. I'll do one No, no, no. We'll be. We're not gonna diss the North Guardians. I'll be fine. Per se. Not the first Griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. The elf guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. I don't call that black, but sure. Um. Hello? 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 The the thing at your feet. Look at the thing at your feet. A camp. Well, you said they were celebrating, so I would assume as a camp. Anything? Have you any outreaches of the circle? I see bushes. I don't see anything else. We're off to a flying start, Geralt. Oh, here we go. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. Oh, so they were going back the way they came. Okay, what's this sign say? Oh, it's not in a language I can understand. Well, fair enough. Yee! Wait. Ooh, a loot. Looty looties. Okay, let's follow this trail again. Or not. Oh, we're going this way. I cannot do this now. I, I can't jump? Okay. Um, up. Why is he telling me that? Grabbing the ledges. Okay. I totally jumped really late. Griffin's nest. What oh, remains oh. of it at least? Ugh. That's a bit grisly. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Sucks to be you. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Oh, it's just where the footprints end. Hi, hey, Griffin. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Ew. And did at least a week. That's gross. Other griffin must be a male. Okay, well, examine the wounds. 
deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't, Didn't defend, defend herself. herself. Yep, that's a conclusion I came to. Slept. Well, that's heartless. Determine age. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Great deductions. I like it. See, Siri, this is what happens Thick when you read shaft, your books. Dense barbs. And then. A royal griffin. Oh no. Didn't the uh, the bestiary say that, that the royal griffins and the arch griffins were the least good? Like they were the, the harder ones to kill? explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. So the Nilf guardians. Yay, Resimir. level three! So the Nilf guardians killed the female griffin, went ar away from the spot, celebrated. And then they got killed by the male. Preparing for combat. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the witch's code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a witch's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance of winning the fight. In other words, it's trying to tell me it's a very strong enemy. But, I mean, I've been leveled up. I'm at level 3. I did all the side quests. Well, okay, some of them. Hey, level 3. That's fine. So I can talk to Vesemir then. What else do we have? Oh, we know we should totally do these first. I completely forgot. Oh, yeah, probably not that. Um, yeah, no, we should totally do these first. So which is closest? Contract, Devil by the Well. That's probably not closest. Where are these things? Okay, that's out to the east. And where are you? To the north. I suppose it doesn't really matter which one I do at the end of the day. We can just fast travel to Wosong Bridge and go from there. Yep. Let's just do that. We shall fast travel. Well, it was fast and let's drink my water. Let's use this thing. I think level four is going to be a while away. Oh, oh no, that's a big chunk of level three. Nah use points so do I want to level up my muscle memory to get more fast attack things or do I want to comp uh, focus more on Igni probably Igni I like Igni oops square right there we go nice so this quest in White Orchard, Geraint happened across a notice posted by a certain Odolin residing in the village. The man wanted someone to take out the monster who was haunting the area around an old well, and doing so required a professional. This was as typical of witcher work as they come, so Geraint decided to talk to the man, ask Odolin about the contract. Yeah, sounds as good a quest as any, so what's my inventory like, by the way? 81 of 9,000. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, wow. I get that. Can, can, can you please go away? I don't... I should really turn the tutorial off. I don't need this. Oh, we ended up getting a Dorian Steel sword without having to actually make it ourselves. Well, sure. We'll take that. Anything else better? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I really think the small blackjack is going to be better than my weapon. Not. We should probably sell everything we don't need. Oh, God. We picked up a lot of crap along the way. Yay for the weight limit. <laughs> and any armor? Is any armor better? Nope. Yes. Plus one. Ew. Nope. Plus five. Hunting boots. We didn't even have to make it. We got them. That's exactly the same thing I'm wearing. Ooh. Hunting gauntlets. Three armor. What's the difference between the ones I'm using? And these ones. Oh, this one's got extra armor, but less uh, other abilities. Whereas that one's got plus two and stuff. No, I think I'll keep the special ones and then that will be the same as the other ones. Yep. Yeah. I could probably put some of these on. Lesser Glyph of Igni. Upgrade. Place in an empty slot. Yeah, we'll throw it in the boots. Don't really know what it does. Play, uh, just says plus two percent Igni sight intensity. I mean, that's pretty cool. So let's sell some of the stuff if we can. Where's Bolcut? Hey, Bram. We meet again. People say all kinds. Yeah, Same that's minute. lovely. Yeah. What are you offering? Let me have a look at your stock. 
So we'll sell everything that does not have a cross. Because it actually, no, never mind. Because the crosses mean it's too high a level for me to use. But no, the damage is worse. So we're not going to downgrade. Yeah, it all seems to be worse. Yep. I should have looked at how much money I got. I didn't pay attention. Ah! How much do I get for that? 28. Hmm. I thought because it was pretty looking I'd get more for it. I'm really not getting that much money. I'm only on 306. Okay, I've got four repair for armor, four repair for weapons. That seems like quite a lot. Should I upgrade? No, it probably seems about right. All of that's worth. Probably should check what he had before I um, sold my shit. Because now it's all muffled and, and mixed up. Required level four. Yeah, we can walk around like a Temerian. Sure, why not? But that's ages away level. Okay, so let's remember level four. If we haven't picked up any extra good stuff, Take we care. can head back to Bram of the Bull Kit. And he can get some stuff for me. So let's go find Sir Odolum. Odolum. Hi, Vesemir. I'll be back later. I know you're just chilling at the inn. Oh, God. We've got new stuff. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is this is gonna be time consuming. Reading all this. Wanted, deserter. Last night a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's surface, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a Kedweni by birth, but said King Henselt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Wow, it's a lot of effort for one deserter. Description. Modest stature. Wiry. With thinning hair. Lol. He fled in his undergarments by squeezing out through the latrine's drainage system and probably thus reeks like an old boar. That sounds disgusting and uh, like a little overkill if you were trying to escape. Ugh. Characteristic marks. He will easily recognized by his voice, which has the telltale rasp of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found providing shelter or sustenance to this deserter will be subjected to a summary court-martial. Wow. Outdoor relief. The Imperial Garrison hereby announces that every week the villagers poor may come by to collect food rations. Rations will only be distributed to the supplicants able to document proof of their poverty. How do you document proof of poverty? Cheats will be punished like any other thieves and to the full extent of the law. I mean, that's fair enough. Nefgardian lessons. Hell, Karazer, El Yaglur, Ad Fein Nasnar. I probably fed a lot of people from a certain part of the world. Don't understand what you just read? No wonder. It's a Nefgardian. And soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. Yeah, I don't think so. So you'd best start learning it now, and yours truly can help you with that for a very modest fee. Ernest of Vicovaro. Yeah, good for you, buddy. Looking to borrow a plow. Hey, lads. Is there any among you that can lend me a plow? Thing is, mine smacked up against the stone in my field so hard it bent halfway. How is that even possible? It may fiend take me if I know how to fix it or plow my field without it. Rogget. Well, best of luck, Rogget. That's the same as one I've already made. And then we already read that one as well. Okay. And save because I've got to remember. Save. Why couldn't you save? Thank you. Odalyn, where are you? Oh, you're in this hut. Okay, uh, front door is over here. Why are there soldiers outside? Why are there soldiers outside your hut? Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Can I steal from him? Oh, beautiful stealing. Sorry, buddy. Just stealing your life's goods. Ooh, we had a lot in that one. Even though, you know, you're poor and whatnot. I'm just, I'm just going to steal from you. Don't mind me. He had an emerald? Wow, we are certainly stealing his life's goods. This is great. Be right with you, Odolin. Just got to finish fleecing you of your life's goods. If that's okay with you. Oh, his wife's just watching me steal. That's a little creepy. And it's also creepy that they barge in here without knocking. Yo. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye, tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. And no one did 20. anything about it? 
So why'd you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. Ew. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing You might down. have to get them out of the she river. She worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. Describe the ghost. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful oh. frightening. <laughs> Useful, awful. thank you. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Ew. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Well, it probably is. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. This is a strange supposition, but sure. Let's talk about my reward. I feel for you. But this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. How much are you offering? Ooh, oh, that's right, you can haggle. But he may not like it. I'm pretty generous usually and go under half. That settles it then. Yeah, I got an extra three crowns for this job. <laughs> I'm so glad I haggled. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement Havel. on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Wow. Please. So because of a ghost, an entire village just left. Why didn't you just take care of the ghost? Weird people. How far away is it? Oh, it's the abandoned village. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Bye, Odalyn. Wait, where's your daughter, by the way? Did I miss her? Oh, there she is. She's on the bed. Poor girl. Okay, I might take Roach for this one. It looks like it may be a little more time for me to get to. What the? What the? Do you mind, peasant? That is vile. And really, really noisy. Let's go, Roach. Maybe I should buy some saddlebags for Roach. Is there something I can get a higher stamina? I mean, not saddlebags specifically. Like a saddle or something, stirrups. Anything that will improve her stamina, because holy shit, she sucks. Oh, to be fair, she gets me there faster than I can get there myself. Wow, that was really quick. Okay, let's go find this this devil by the well. The infamous well. Yeah. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Yet. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. What's this? Grass around the well scorched. Ah. Find evidence of the spirit's presence and then find the spirit. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Old Is that even possible? Point to a noon wraith. Oh, okay. I'll take that, thank you. Noon wraith won't stray too far from the well. Is that it? Is there anything else you wanna do with the well? Geralt? Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the I well. I know that, but what else do you want me to click on? There's something else to... I don't see any other red. And it wants me to be here. Noon Wraith won't stray too no, far I know. from the well. No, I Jesus. No! Yeah. Really? Can we, like, look down the well or something? Like... It wants me to be here, so why, why can't I examine anything here? Can we like pull up the bucket or something? No? I'm so confused what it wants me to do. Oh, read the entry about Noon Race and the Bestiary. Oh god. That's because it's on the wrong one. There we go, that makes more sense. I was on the wrong uh, quest along the side, here. Oh, I can't point with the cursor, never mind. <laughs> so let's go to the Bestiary. Uh, is it a necrophage or a spectre? It is a spectre. So I've got night wraiths and noon wraiths. Noon wraiths. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labours at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraiths. Now that's an interesting take on things. Vlad Raymond. Peasants and their customs. Ow, wow. Sometimes it's offensive when they call them peasants. Yeah, she does look like she was just fresh out of the grave, as per Odalyn's words. 
On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, wraiths will at times appear, resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long, white robes. These are noon wraiths, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they went to the fields searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. Oh my god, this is longer than I thought. Noonwraiths are only known to hunt rural areas and usually stay near the place of their deaths. They prey on peasants working in the field or children playing nearby. Noonwraiths do not bleed and are for the most part immune to the effects of witcher signs. They can create mirror images of themselves which circle their victims in a kind of morbid parody of a dance. I remember this. The scarcely ritual drains their victims' life energy while adding to their own strength. Oh, they heal! That sucks. Noonwraiths are also able to manipulate the physical world to a limited degree, kicking up clouds of dust which temporarily blind and disorient their opponents. Noonwraiths can turn immaterial and are at such times very difficult to wound. In order to force a Noonwraith to take corporeal form, one must first trap it with the Yerdon sign, or struck off with a moon dust bomb. I remember the Yerdon. Once the monster has regained physical presence, one can mount a fast attack with a silver blade, preferably one coated in spectre oil. Contrary to popular belief, Noonwraiths can also be encountered at night, but are much weaker than during the day. So signs Yerdon, spectre oil, and moon dust. Do I have spectre oil? Where's alchemy? Oh, I've got to go up. Do I have... Arenaria. I wouldn't even know where to get that from. So it's a white plant. Well, it obviously hasn't grown in a place where I've picked flowers before. Oh, well, you can do it without spectre oil, apparently. Something's tied the noon wreath to this place. An object. Okay. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Find out what binds the Noom Wraith to the village. I would love to. Just, you know, there's a lot of loot. <laughs> and I'd like to get my money's worth. Since I'm only getting 23 crowns from the dude. Oh, there's nothing to loot inside. How odd. Ooh, something right in the corner. What am I stuck on? Oh, it's a bench. Dog tallow. Dog tallow? Ew. Is this her body? A man. No. Stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. Oh. Yellowed a diary. Journal. Might be useful. Oh my god, it's long. Okay. So the 23rd of I can I have no idea how to read that date. It's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court of Vizima. Listen to all the harm he's done us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with nary thought of repayment. How he barged in during Pietz's wedding and demanded his right to have the first night ill. Now we finally got what we begged, Melitele, for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. First day of freedom. Um, Volker fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out evil. Buried a martin under the gate to make sure no, sure no thieves crossed our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Well, that's lovely. They say the Lord is coming to see us. That he wants to make a deal. To beg us to return to the village. They say he's calm since his son died. That he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move an inch from here. That wow. Bracelet. Might be what ties the woman's spirit and the to Lord this is, place. Who oh my god, there's a tree in the house. I only just noticed. So the Lord killed them. What a dick. Oh, did, I, did I miss something? It's still yellow. Oh, the blood. Blood stains. Barely visible. Someone was yeah, dragged this way. But then he said Someone that the, who was still alive. They said the blood was not his, but I didn't see any other trail of blood. There's no other blood in the room. Lies. Lies. Okay, I don't care what it says. I'm done with this place. Oh, there. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Oh, Someone yeah. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. Oh, no. I feel so no sorry for this new No body but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. 
Well, I don't think outside counts where it's been, you know, torrential rain. Another print by the well. How do you see from the far away? Damn cat eyes. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hello, witcher senses? Oh, we are going to the bucket. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse. Oh, by the bucket rope. that'll be her. Poor lady. Woman, the journal belonged to, must be. She certainly suffered, poor lady. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman. Round 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. That'd be the, with the bracelet Need to on it. the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this So we're looking for an arm with the bracelet though. attached. Although, the other Was with the bracelet still being the on the arm. from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Yeah, but what are the odds of the bracelet still being on the arm? Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my <laughs> legs. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Let me just quickly do a round of these buildings, though. And I'll be right with you, Geralt. Ooh, some powdered pearl. How has no one pilfered this place? Oh, I suppose the wraith is here, isn't it? That would explain why there's still stuff in these buildings. Ooh, this is a bigger one. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh, um, I appear to be stuck. Oh, we didn't get you as well. Did now. Ducal water. Um, that does not look pleasant. Problem solved. Ah, shit. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. I meant to use my witcher senses and the next thing I know I was like setting shit on fire. Oh, well I didn't really get much out of that, but that's okay. Okay, down the well you say. Well, yeah, fingers crossed you don't break your legs. That would seriously suck. Hi, lady. Bye, lady. Okay. Oh, okay. Of course it's going to be water. Uh, is it going to be... Oh, there it is. Oh, I found the arm. Uh, that's okay, so the bracelet was still on the hand. What do you know? Find a way out of the cave. Um, is there a specific way I have to go? I'd say so, because this is not it. <laughs> okay, let's go across behind there, that looks more promising. I guess I can get through here, okay, here we go. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely Who spells Claire like that? But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Aww. Better do it near the well. That's so sad. Okay, Claire, we're coming for you. Um, can I go under? Oh, I can. Can't see shit, but I can. We're following the path. Let's not get tangled on these vines, Geralt. Uh, is there air in the ne Here we go. Air. 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 Oops. We did not take air. Oh, it's a little air pocket. Okay. Well, let's continue to follow the map. Lighting in here is very terrible. Oops. We should probably try to swim quicker. Oh, can you imagine getting tangled in all those roots? That would seriously suck. Go, go! Oh, I suppose there's no rush. He's got plenty of breath left. Um, dude, you're stuck. Need to prepare oh, for this hey. fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. I don't know where those flowers are. I'm sorry, Geralt. I looked. I really did. It needs white flowers. There, there are no flowers even in my vicinity, let alone of the white variety. Unless these are the white flowers all of a sudden. No, those are mushrooms. And some hellebore. And some more mushrooms. Sorry, buddy. I really did try. But I just don't see any white plants. We're just gonna have to do it without the, the flowers. Ooh, unless you are. Nah, white modal. Got excited for a second there. 
light a fire to destroy the Noomwraith's bones and bracelet. Noomwraith won't stray too far okay. from the well. That's what we've already looked at, my bad. Okay. Light a fire. So, like, Igni? Or are we just doing this in a civilized fashion? Okay. Burn oh, okay. Yeah, okay, we're just selecting X on the body. Fair enough. Ooh, I need to select Yerdon. Shit. And the bracelet. Can't forget Big the bracelet. Me. Hi, Claire. I'm sorry to be burning your body, but you're really inconveniencing a lot of people. Hi, Claire. Maya, aren't you looking lovely? God, that is freaky. It worked. You don't say. Hello? Yerdin. Yerdin. Damn it. Come back here. Damn it. Yerdin's gone. Oh no, she multiplied. Not her. Oh, these. I know it's not these level one. Yerdon. I said the uh, wrong button. That's right. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Ow. She's almost dead though. Who needs oil? Shit. Yerdon. Yay! Oh no. My weapon. We did it. She's gone. For good. Yeah, I got mutagens! Sure. Return to Odalin for a reward. I think being level 3, that uh, that really seemed to help. That was nice. But let's try and fix my sword. So my silver sword is looking a little subpar. Oh, it's at 50. Oh well. I'll be good to my sword. What's it? 15%. So it's only on 65? Ugh. That means it can go down at any moment. Oh. Do one more on it. There we go. I'm bringing it to 80. And then it said I've got a mutagen. Mutagen, mutagen, mutagen. That goes to character, if I'm correct. Yes, here we go. Place mutagens in the appropriate slots to gain a bonus to your character statistics. Select the mutagens tab. Where is my cursor? There it is. Choose a mutagen and then place it in the indicated slot. So we've got the Noon Wraith Mutagen, plus 50 Vitality. And boom! Once activated, mutagens grant bonuses to your character statistics. Both mutagens and abilities are marked with a color. Put a mutagen in a field with at least one ability of the same color to increase its bonus. If an ability does not match the color of the mutagen in its field, it does not increase the mutagen's bonus. The increased gained from any other abilities in the same field which do not match the mutagen. Yeah, whatever. Each matching ability increases the bonus by 100%. Okay, well, I don't have any green because green is shitty alchemy, so I don't improve that. But hey, vitality is plus 50, which is better than nothing, so I'll take it. Sure. Should I fast travel back to Wosong? Oh, it's just Wosong Bridge. That's right, it's White Orchard, isn't it? Uh, it might be quicker, actually. Let's do it. Uh, typically in this game you need to actually go to a uh, signpost to travel so if I had wanted to travel at that particular moment I would have had to have gone to the abandoned village signpost to travel because you can only go from signpost to signpost uh, or boats later on in the game but I, I got a mod so I can just fast travel from everywhere still you're still catching snails and in the rain too what is wrong with you people no not really I'm wearing leather and chainmail. I really don't think it's going to go well with, uh, with some rain, some wet, some puddle jumping. Oh, that's the plant I needed. Oh, well, I needed lots of it anyway. Okay, I can't grab, grab the sunflowers in someone's house. So the flower was here all along outside Odalyn's house. Odalyn! You've been, you've been holding out on me. Now I could craft the spectre oil. That'd be right. 
I mean, I suppose on, on the positive side of things, I was able to kill it pretty easily. Let's just brew some straight away. So in case I need some later on um, further down the track. Done. I can get some necrophage oil as well. Yep, we'll have some of that. Just chill on. Do I need white honey? Clear toxicity. Yeah, I'm not worried about that at this point in time. But alchemy substances. Oh, right. I need to get other mutagens. That one excluded. Okay, I can't do that at present. Odalyn! Yes, I know. Open the inventory panel to apply one. That's great. I'm, I'm not applying one. Don't need to. Hey, you can get some fresh water now. The well is A-OK. -okay. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they oh, do, no kidding. you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. I mean, it was 20 years ago. Oh, I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Oh. Same one, maybe? Shall I go speak with Tamira? Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without so you, my microphone stand. she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. That's true, but what do you, what do you gotta, yeah, what are you gonna do for your daughter if you take all the coin away from her dowry? At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words. You've a good heart. I know but it. I can't let you go empty handed. Take this at least. <sighs> okay, what'd you give me? An amethyst. Nice. Stop telling me about oils. 